Thank you, James. <coughs> Good afternoon. And um, just a short reflection before um, we start the conference. I have been able to participate in many international conferences in relation to the environmental issue. Started 1972 in Stockholm. As a very young activist, I participated. Then, uh, 92 in Rio, 2002 in Uberg, then Kyoto, and then also Copenhagen, and now Paris. It is easy to describe many of these conferences as failures, no doubt. But if you have a very long perspective, you notice one thing, and that is, it is a process going on, constantly. I don't think that the result from this conference will be the total breakthrough, no. It will be one more international conference, and the process will go on. It will continue. And a part of that process is conferences of this kind, is seminars of this kind. I am um, optimistic about the contribution from the forestry sector to um, solve the problem with climate change. That is also something new compared to the attitude and opinion expressed during earlier conferences. It's a new situation. Now we are talking about using our forests to mitigate and not only that, to store, to uh, substitute, and to bind carbon dioxide. A lot of opportunities in connection with that. A lot of good development, but also, of course, as always, a lot of new threats emerging that we also have to take care of. Not to misuse our forest, but to use them to combat climate change. This seminar is inside the framework of a European Forest Institute's think tank, Think Forest. And I am especially glad to say that today we are also visited by our former chairman in European Forest Institute, Yves Biro. Professor Biro, you are especially warmly welcome. Give him a warm hand. He was the first man. He was the first man who realized that this was not a question for single European countries. This was something to discuss among the whole common European political space inside the European Union structures. Thank you for that job and your contribution. Warmly welcome. Welcome all of you. Now we are looking forward to listen to those who have gone into detail and in deep this really challenging and promising feel about what the forest can do to contribute to a solution about climate change. Welcome.